Okay, people, today I'm going to be installing Paranoid ROM. This is, um, I'm, I'm moving from Liquid Jelly Bean to Paranoid ROM. Paranoid Android, it's called. Sorry. I don't know. I'm still new at this, and I get confused, and I get all nervous that I'm talking to you people, and then you're going to say, yeah, you didn't do things right. Um, so, be nice with me. <laughs> Eventually, I will get down to being better. I don't have the touch menu yet, but uh, let's zoom in. Hold on. Oops. Okay. Um, we are going to go... You know what, I'm going to bring it up. I think you guys can't see it. Okay, so we are going to go from first. We gotta wipe cache data. Now you know what? I can't do it like that. It just gets too blurry. I hope you guys can see it there. Okay, wipe data cache. So we're gonna wipe factory reset. We're gonna go yes to all. Okay, so now it's working. Alright, now after we wipe it, we're going to wipe the cache partition. This is going to be for every ROM, people. So, I should do how to install ROMs on this video. Um, then we go to advanced. That's probably what I'm going to name it. Then we're gonna wipe, uh, wipe uh, Dalvik cache, Dalvik cache. I guess that's how you say it. Okay, so you wipe that. After you wipe all of them, go back because you're gonna be in that same menu, and then you're gonna want to go into install zip from SD card. Once you're installed from SD card. This is for every ROM that you install, people. You wipe those three and then go back into SD and then choose install from zip. You move down into wherever you downloaded. I have it in my downloads. And today, the one we had was Liquid Jelly Bean 2.0 RC1. But now we're gonna, going to move to today's um, ROM, which is this is Paranoid Android, um, the 9.11 build. Um, it supposedly has a lot of fixes. Well, the September 11th build, I mean. So. Yeah, 9.11. Alright, so after you install it, which is going to take a while to install, after you install this build, or any ROM that you install, you're going to want to go through the same process of wiping everything. Okay, if you are doing a Jelly Bean ROM after you wipe every those three that I showed you the uh, the cache, the Delvic, and the data. Um, after you wipe all three of them in in the same way I I did it the first time, then you install um, Google Apps. So some some of them will need Google Apps. So after you do that, you will go. And wipe everything out and then go back into install zip and then you will see I'll give you an example where it is I have Google Apps here because I've been installing oh wait a minute this is jelly bean so I have to do this okay so let, let's just show you let's go back go back go back and now we are going to wipe factory cache again wait no this is uh, wiping data so we wipe data again. This is only for those ROMs that do not come with um, what do you call this? Um, Google Apps, okay? And most Jelly Beans don't, but some ICS do. Okay, and then after that, you're gonna wipe the the cache. It should go faster because there really isn't that, that many things installed. So it wiped it out really quick this time. Then you go to Advanced, choose Wipe. Delvic cache, you click on yes, and then after that, you go down, and this is the one last step you do. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Then you go back into SD, choose zip from SD card, 
go to your download spot and then you choose Google Apps make sure you have the latest Google Apps that will help out a lot of problems and this is how to install ROMs on almost any phone okay of course you have to root the phone first and install CWM which is what we're using here by doing this to make it easy for you you can download um, ROM manager and it will install it for you but first you have to root your phone so um, you can watch other videos on rooting because I don't have every other phone so <laughs> I could do a video on how to root this phone, but okay. So now, um, now that you have it installed, you will want to go back and do the same steps again. Wipe data. You're gonna do this. This just helps out, so it doesn't really give you any problems after doing after doing all these installs. So, so you wipe data. After you wipe data, you're going to get the menu up again. And then what did I show you to do? Then you go into wipe cache. Always do it in this... Um, in these steps, you know. Don't, always, don't, don't jump steps because then when you go into the forums and you start complaining about stuff, they're going to tell you, did you do this? And then they're going to say, you're going to say, uh, no. And when you say no, they're going to tell you, well, reinstall it that way. Then, okay, so we wipe, we wipe Delvet Cache, and now the last step after you reboot is fix permissions. You want to fix permissions. It'll be really fast because you have nothing installed, and then you are going to reboot from this menu. Okay, so now reboot now, and now we should have the ROM fully installed, and as you can see, it took minutes. Once you have C... I think it's CMW or CWM. No, CMW, which is that blue menu that we have, that recovery uh, installed. It's very, very, very easy to install ROMs. I mean, very, very easy. Okay. So it's rebooting. It should take a while. This is the first time it's booting. If we have a custom boot logo, it will show up. If not, it will just show Samson. But this is Paranoid Android. So as you can see, you're going to get this green little guy that looks like a little jelly bean kind of guy. Um, Android jelly bean in the stomach. It's kind of a nice logo. And I really like this ROM because it's a combination of hybrid, um, you know, uh, since this is the Galaxy Note, it's more like a phablet. It, it shows you tablet modes on a lot of applications. And that's just kind of cool. And you can fit a lot, a lot more on the screen because you have so much more real estate. So if you have this phone, I highly recommend this. Um, but still, I'm not a big fan of Jelly Bean just yet. There's a lot of things besides the speed because the speed is just so much faster. It's just like two to three times faster than ICS. And ICS was faster than Gingerbread. So it's amazingly smooth and fast. But besides that, there's a few things that are missing, and once these ROMs have it, um, I will let you guys know, and you can update to Jelly Bean. But for now, just stick on your best ICS build. So here we are home. I just wanted to show you see that everything is working. I'm going to click no because we don't have Wi-Fi enabled yet. And um, click yes to Google time and date we're not going to put it because it's going to find it and we're going to put my name which is I mean I don't mind you guys knowing my name but my name is George but this is the internet so and finish okay so we're home and we have paranoid android installed as you can see, it's totally different than my other videos. I have not had this installed yet. I did try it in an earlier build and it really sucked. And I'm hoping this one is a lot more stable because it wasn't stable enough for me last time. That's why I use Liquid Smooth. Okay, so now we have the ROM installed. Sorry for the glare. We're just going to show it about and we are going to finish this video. Okay. Um, 
here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think it has to be faster. Okay. So you tap it five times fast and you hold down so you can get the jelly beans. And that's it. That's the way to open that menu up because people in, on the online just seem to be tapping and tapping like crazy and it never opens. Okay. So that's it. We have jelly bean installed and it's paranoid android as you can see 2.11 the latest build and i hope you guys i helped you out in any way and thank you be patient with me i'm starting up on this and subscribe like the video bye bye